It fits in the palm of your hand, and it could rock the field for game development. At Start Houston, Robert Brackenridge gave me a close-up of a new gaming console, the Ouya. Ouya is, is a very interesting play. Uh, it started back with a Kickstarter campaign uh, about seven or eight months ago where they went to Kickstarter and looked for backers to come in for an idea. And that idea was to create a console for the developer. So me being that developer, I got really excited to where I could actually publish my games up to a console that can be played on the television. Uh, for instance, if uh, we were to look at the same thing for Nintendo's Wii or the PlayStation, uh, you know, PlayStation 3 or Xbox, it's very difficult for me to become a developer for those consoles. And so the Ouya is creating a marketplace where I can distribute games very, very similar to the same marketplace I can for the App Store for Apple. Brackenridge didn't have specific price points, but he did say some of the games would be free to play. For all his enthusiasm, there are some naysayers. Z-Board Games' Bill Sternberg took time away from his next Penny Arcade game to talk with me. Well, uh, I'm part of a small two-man independent team that makes little retro RPGs, fairly simple, at least from, the, from how they look, fairly simple looking RPGs. So something like the Ouya is a way to get a game on a console with fairly minimal cost barrier, and that's a good thing. The question is, will it have a large enough install base to make it matter from a business perspective? Because it might not cost anything to make a game for it, but if you go through all the trouble to, to support it and only make you know 80 or you know 100 sales, it may or may not end up being worth your, your time and effort. So it really depends on how many of the consoles actually get sold. But such a small niche may not be so bad, Brackenridge says. You don't necessarily want to put your eggs in the biggest basket on the very first game that you launch. So if you can find a nice crowd that tests your game and you can make it better and better and better and move along with it, then ultimately launch into a larger market, such as you, you've already seen on you know whether you want to look at Microsoft's uh, marketplace, Google's Android, uh, Google Play, or even you know the, the App Store. You know, it's, I think it's, it's a more attractive opportunity to start small, work through your challenges, get your monetization strategy really finely tuned, and then launch into the bigger marketplace. I think it's a little bit more of a, uh, probably an easier, smoother path. If you want to develop for the Ouya, dig a little deep in your wallet and go sign up with them on their website. For us gamers, the Ouya should be released around April for $99. If you have a video game or a nerdy news idea to share, I want to hear from you. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm John Pereira with MyFoxHouston.com.